Three siblings from Florida are on the run from the FBI. They're accused of shooting at police and robbing a bank with assault weapons. Investigators fear the crime spree could be the start of a violent mission across the South. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman reports. Investigators describe a one-family crime wave, three suspects who are armed, dangerous, and siblings. I would consider these three individuals as extremely armed and extremely dangerous. Electronic billboards across the southeast show the Dortry siblings, Ryan, 21, his brother Stanley, 26, and their sister Grace, 29, all have previous criminal records. Investigators say the crime wave began in Florida on Monday when Ryan Dortry violated his parole, snapped off his ankle bracelet, and stole his girlfriend's car. The next morning, police say the trio fired over 20 rounds at a Florida police officer during a high-speed chase. His car was hit, but the officer wasn't injured. At noon on Tuesday, they entered this bank in Valdosta, Georgia. I just think the people are really bold to come out and do such a thing in broad daylight. Surveillance cameras show the suspects wearing masks and armed with high-powered weapons. Witnesses say they fired at the ceiling and demanded a bag of money. One of the offenders jumped over the, the teller line or the teller counter and I was able to retrieve an undisclosed amount of cash. They fled in this getaway vehicle, a white Subaru with New York plates. Their mother received a text message from Ryan at the time of the robbery. At some point, we all have to die police are worried the sibling suspects are carrying an arsenal of weapons and won't go peacefully. Meanwhile, the FBI is conducting tests on gun parts found at Tampa International Airport in a bathroom. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.